Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make some very basic bird wings. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of different ways to do this. Um, you could just model out a single feather and duplicate it and layer it one at a time. Um, something like that. We're not going to do that today. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're actually going to be using what's called an array mesh and bend curves. So without further ado, go to projects. I would go for the 64 Dynamesh Sphere. No particular reason, just I feel it works better in my experience. And you want to turn on Poly, just so you can know what you're looking at. Turn off Dynamic Perspective. Okay. Now from here, you're going to kind of scale out a very basic feather shape. I prefer mine to be on the skinnier side. And if you rotate it, just scale it this way, make it thin. All right, now from here, you want to click this gear, hit Deformer Soft, and hold down Control. While Control is still held down, click outside the mask, and then drag this down so it has more of that like bottom heavy feather shape. Now go to Accept, and that's done. And it looks a little messy right now. It looks a little crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Z, Z Remesher and we're going to keep our target polygon count fairly low. I usually go for like 0.15 or 0.18. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So from here, what you want to do is go to Z Modeler and then hold down Alt and just click on the faces and just draw out a basic shape of that shaft that kind of goes through the feather. From here, rotate it, extrude it back a little bit and then you're actually going to Z-Remesh it again, but this time you're going to hit Keep Groups and Z-Remesher. Re Z yeah, that's fine. And if you're not happy with like how thick the uh, shaft is, you can go into your brushes and grab Move Topology. Make sure Symmetry is turned on. Actually got ahead of myself a little bit. I Z remeshed a second time too soon. That's okay. You can always do it again. Uh -huh. Something like that, and it doesn't really have to be perfect per se. Um, Z remesh the Z remesher is going to do a lot of heavy lifting for you. So do that again. Boom. Love it. Beautiful. All right. So from here, we are going to go into a ray mesh. And you're going to turn it on first thing and zoom out a little bit so we can just see what we're looking at and repeat you want it to be like i don't know 18. it's usually a good solid number and then you want to bring that x amount to the right so you have some good overlap something like that perhaps and then from here you're going to rotate just a little bit All right, now, so with bird wings, they usually kind of like get longer as you go. Uh, not all the feathers are the same same length. So you're going to go to scale, and you're going to hit transpose and lock plus lock pause. And you're going to go to Y amount, and also bring that to the right a little bit, something like that. I think is good. And finally, I'm gonna hit rotate, and just to get a better basic shape of the wing, you're going to go to Z amount and bring it to something like 50. Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty. 
Now from here, we are ready to move into bend curves. So to get to the bend curves, I'm just gonna turn this off. Um, go to that gear, and you're gonna go to bend curve, and it'll give you like three orange dots to start. I usually find that helpful in just getting. Oops. Oh wait, sorry, my bad. I almost forgot an important step. Um, so you want to make your mesh, <laughs> or else it won't uh, act as one step tool. That was my bad. Uh, so now, now you want to go to bend curve. And now, you should be able to shape it. Hmm. Got two. Maybe that third one's what I need. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we kind of want that here-ish. Don't want to break your model, so be careful. And then you can add more points as you kind of fine tune the shape. A little bit. All right, and you've got your basic first layer, your wing. Uh, so it does get a little twisted sometimes. Some uh, sometimes in here, so you might want to just see what you can do to, you know, fix that. I just find it isn't really great for when you try to layer it on top of each other. It's going to twist a little bit regardless of what I do. This is fine. Uh, actually, that's not bad. Yeah, and just try to remember to look at it in different angles, because it can look fine one way and then you turn it and it's, it's a mess. It's terrible. <laughs> Did lose a little bit of our shape here. down. He brings to the left a little bit. Did that? Yeah, it did. Ah, uh, so curvy. Who would have thought? Bend curves, right? Alright. All right, I'm just kind of manipulating it the best I can. Lost its shape a little more, but... So a lot of this is trial and error. Um, oh, these orange cones, you can kind of twist it around if you want like a wing kind of wrapped around your character. Um, let me just stick with this. I can always move it back into place. All right, so you're gonna go to this gear again, hit accept. It is what it is, we can fix it. Oops, one, go to move. Increase that a little bit. Just kind of straighten it out a little bit. And you can also just adjust the shape here, the move brush as well.
Ah, uh, the perfectionist in me. It's not happy. Oh well. For the purposes of this tutorial, it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so, eventually, when you're happy with your wing, or something close to happy with it, One second. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. So, at this point, you can kind of rotate it to the side. And you can either duplicate the tool and just scale it that way, or you can hold down Control, go to the Move Gizmo, and just bring it back. I usually start with the back. It's just I find it easier to scale. Uh, let's see, where do we want to scale this? Maybe the whole thing. Should be a little longer, I think. Eh. Oh, yeah. And you do want to try and make them flush with each other, like the best you can. Uh, I haven't worked out a foolproof way to, you know, make the back look a little less ugly, but. You know, we're working on it. Work in progress. And I think that's... that's fine. So from there, you're going to do the same thing. Hold control. Bring it up front. Scale that sucker up. Or down, rather. <laughs> and maybe... maybe a little bigger. And again, you can use the move tool to make sure everything lines up in layers properly. Make sure that's flush. It's flush as it can be. Let me scale this out a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Or, looks fine. Passable. Serviceable. We love it. Alright, and that is how you have your basic wing. And then, from there, if you want to have two wings, uh, first things first, I'm going to rotate this guy. So, move that here. Actually, no. Move that over here. Then go to Z plugin. Sub to a master, hit mirror, you're going to mirror across the x-axis, and voila! You have some pretty basic wings. <laughs> Obviously you can go in uh, when you're first sculpting your feather, give it a little more detail, a little more like some barbs maybe, um, some texture. I didn't do it because, you know, I just wanted to give you a basic idea of the process. Um, again, just look at it from the front, don't Pay no attention to the back. Actually, nah. No, you still gotta smooth that out at some point. But, uh, it, that's basically how you do wings with an array mesh and bed curves. Um, thank you guys so much for watching.